It's Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Wednesday, June 17th, 2020. Number one, in the shadows of recent protests from Washington, D.C. to around the world following the murder of George Floyd, Donald Trump hosted a Rose Garden event Tuesday to announce the signing of an executive order to rein in aggressive police actions. Many critics point out the executive order falls short of what protesters are calling for, such as the elimination of chokeholds. The presidential speech did start the engines of his re-election campaign, however. Number two, Dr. Ben Carson, the only African-American member of the Donald Trump cabinet, says that he's willing to help him understand what it means for a professional athlete to take a knee. However, the Oval Office resident appears to be tone deaf on so many racist issues, including police brutality. How likely is he to get there on symbolic acts like taking a knee? Number three, as the U.S. hit a milestone of over 2 million coronavirus infections nationwide, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has released a detailed demographic breakdown of the impact of COVID-19. Hospitalizations are six times higher and deaths are 12 times higher among those with underlying health conditions. Among the cases with known race and ethnicity, 33% were Hispanic, 22% were Black, and 1.3% were American Indian or Alaska Native. Number four, say her name, Toyin Salau, 19-year-old activist Toyin Salau, was a well-known vocal supporter of the Black Lives Matter movement in Florida. She went missing on June 6th and her body was found June 13th in Tallahassee. Aaron Glee Jr. was arrested Sunday after the bodies of two women were found near his rented home. Number five, hey, how you doing? According to a survey from a research center at the University of Chicago, the truly happy people are at the lowest point in 50 years at 14%. And that's a 50% drop in just two years. The What You Need to Know news crew wants to know how you are, really. And please tell us how you're finding joy in your days. Please go to Sybil Wilkes on all social media platforms and let us know. Join Stephen Hill and yours truly today live on YouTube at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central as we discuss today's top headlines and more. And that's what you need to know. For more information, please go to SybilWilkes.com and sign up for my free newsletter. Be informed, be empowered.